Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm going to do a four flip cup, but I'm going to let them float around and I might um, exchange them a little bit after I fill them up and flip them. And I have a new job for Phil because I can never remember this because it's a 12 by 16 canvas. He always writes them down on his paper, but my mind just goes blank because I don't care about the size. That's his job. You have nothing else to think about while you're doing the videos, do never, you? Never, never. <laughs> I only have to remember the colors. I have to remember how to mix them and oh there my gosh. Go. Okay, so today I'm using Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Red Violet by Amsterdam. Iridescent Blue Green by PBO. Sky Blue by Amsterdam and Blue Violet by Amsterdam. And it's a 12 by 16 canvas. Just so you know, you don't give me your dirty look, Phil, because I forgot you know to mention that. That's your gig. That could be your new job on here, mentioning 12 by 16. He's giving me a look, so I better get going. Okay, I'm going to start out with my um, blue violet. Blue on blue. You sure you want to do those on the canvas so you don't drip? Wouldn't it be easier to... Well, it probably would, Phil, but now, you know, now you tell me. Okay, I'll just do it here. Well, I'm just saying, if you if you don't mind having drips on there, it would be a lot faster and you don't have to worry about the drips. Well, it's all going to blend in together anyway, so... Okay. But we'll do it like this. Oh. I should probably stir these two a little bit. Oh, and it does have, um, it has two drops of the Helmer silicone in each one. Just for FYI. Hey, I don't drip on these. I only drip on the blooms. You know? That is true. I'm just trying to give you some unsolicited advice. Well, that's normal. But that's okay. It, it don't matter. It's fine. Now, I'm not going to put a whole bunch of this in because this might just take over. Because you know how the reds go. You know? Yeah, they can, they can be hot. Hot to trot. Oh, I love that wine. It's by 14 Hands. Oh, if you like red wine, people, it's called 14 Hands, the brand, and it's hot to trot. It's cheap. Yeah, it, it is one of the best red wines. It's so incredibly good. I do like um, the 14 Hands, though. I like the Bogle, too. Bogle's pretty good. Phil's favorite is Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. It's well, really like sour. It. <laughs> no, it isn't. It, it, it's, it's to not. me, it's really, really sour. Well, okay. It doesn't matter yeah. what kind of Sauvignon Blanc I drink. Oh my gosh, it's it's just like pucker. Well, that's why you drink the Reds and I drink. No, I like Chardonnay. Well, well, that's right. You like Chardonnay, too. Chardonnay is one of my favorites. I think these people, are, our subscribers are going to think we're uh, luscious because we're always talking about... Yeah, but we don't drink um, a lot. We took a, a wine class and everything, so how can you not talk about it? Well, that's true. I mean, some people... We just have a little glass here and there. And yeah, here it's not there, like we're, we're downtown there. drunks. <laughs> I mean... I gave that up months ago. I, we gave that up years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can't, can't drink like we used to. We now could, we, but I mean. Now we savor it. Before we used to, well, I don't, shouldn't say we. You know. When yeah, you're why young, are you including you, me into this? When you're young, you kind of chug it. As you get older, you un, uh, learn to appreciate the finer points. 
in alcoholic beverages. Oh, brother, you're really getting deep now. Appreciate it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The smell of wet leather and chocolate. Hey, I'll tell you right now, buddy. When my dad owned the bar, there was never uh, chocolate and sweet leather smelling in there. It was cigarette smoke and, <laughs> and beer. beer. It's like, oh, gosh. Well, everybody has their own vices, I guess. Well, that's when you could smoke inside and, and everything. Well, I mean, yeah, right. my dad had a cigarette burning in every ashtray, I think, on the bar. Yeah, he just walk a few feet and there'd be another one uh, in the ashtray for him. Mm -hmm. Without filters. Oh, yay, yay, yay. That was so bad. Ugh. But that was his passion. I don't know. To be a bartender takes a lot of patience, let me tell you. Because you know everybody's sex life, number one. You know who they're all having an affair with. Well, they, they, they come in and they tell you your, their problems, your troubles. And, <laughs> and you don't have uh, any when you listen to them. Because well, your problems are gone. Yeah, that's true. So, But it, it's, it's one of those things. I think that was the happiest day of my mother's life when my, my dad really put the bar up for sale. But she, mm -hmm. she, well, she was a good bartender, though. She had a really good personality. She was a people person. Okay, so now... I'm almost done here, Larry. You're almost done. Okay. Are you getting antsy? I know the dog is getting antsy because I'm going to take her for a slight walk it's so nice. We, we need some music playing in the background because <laughs> it's so quiet. Nobody's having landscaping well, done or anything today. That's true. Well, well over in the course of our videos, we've talked about you eating dirt in the garden, <laughs> going to the garbage <laughs> dump, <laughs> and now drinking. Oh boy. Oh, I don't God. know how we get on these sidetracked tangents of, oh, of, we'll of get use, in, useless information. We'll, we'll get into some more stuff with hor how we raised our horses oh, and bred God. our horses and showed them. And, oh, we'll get into that. How we did friendship flowers. Oh, bro. That's a whole nother story. Oh, oh, my God. So, anyways, we. Uh, We've had an eventful life. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the events were good, though. <laughs> oh, but, man. Uh, we did have fun, though. Okay. Do I have paint on here? I don't want to get on my hair. Okay, I'm going to do these little flipper runes. Yeah, just before I was making paints, I got paint all over my top. I had to throw it in the washer right away. Okay. So here we go. Voila. Dos. <laughs> Tres. Uh, oh, you know cinco. A no, you know a lot of Spanish. Cuatro, I think it Qu is. Cuatro. Cuatro. Uh, okay. Hey, you did it. You did it. Yeah. You got them on there. Now, I'm going to punch a hole in it and let it just kind of float. Hopefully this, is this going to do it, Phil? I don't know. I'm going to push it down hard. Oh. Maybe it won't make it big enough. Oh. No. We'll see. Oh, my. Maybe I should have used a cup that was a little bit. No, you're fine. You're fine. Oh. Jeez. We oh. Have, we got to get an ice pick. You know what? You can't find an ice pick. You ha you have to, um, I think you have to buy them online. I'll be darned. Because you, you can't find any. Remember back in Illinois, I wanted to get an ice pick uh, for one of my paintings to do? Mm. 
I couldn't find any. Great, now that I have that all full of paint. Okay, we got that. So, well, they ain't floating too much, are they? No, oh, well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, just gotta give them a little, a little oh. bit of nudge, and you'll 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 get the floaty going. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna. You're gonna do the dosi -si dough with them? Yeah. See what happens. Colors are pretty. Very pretty. Jeez. Colors are very pretty. Okay, gotta torch this now. Okay, everybody, I'm back because our, the phone rang. I don't know why we had it on Do Not Disturb, but that's kind of like when somebody comes to the door and rings our doorbell. So it might be the same person, who knows. So now I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna let it go over the edge. I really like that color combination. This is beautiful. Like dark blue, purples, violets. Very nice. I like that too. See, you just never know what, what you're gonna... Oh, that's right, I got my big thing so I don't have to get all full of this. Ha ha. It's a good thing. Come on, baby. This is a process that you can't do fast either. Oh, wow. These colors are really, really striking. Yeah, I, I really, really like this color combination. And uh, you got some nice cell formation. This is like an underwater thing again. Mm -hmm. I like how um, how slow it goes, and it just stretches and stretches. It's really pretty. People uh, they gravitate to the blues, don't they? At the art fair, they gravitated to the blues. It, it really was. Amazing how many people gravitate to blue. I think they they seem to go to the blues the most. They, they do like the the black and the white combinations. Oh yeah, they and love that. The one I thought they liked the most, which would be the beiges and stuff. The beige um, and the browns. They 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 go to those too, but not as much as the blues. Mm -mm. The black and whites. Wow. Oh, is that Look pretty? That. that is really really pretty. Oh, am I glad I did that combination. Loving it. What about you, Phil? Yes, I really like. And I thought that uh, that red would take over, and it really didn't. It didn't. It gave just enough, mm -hmm. just enough uh, contrast to the blues to make it really cool. This is really pretty. Well, I hope Phil can tack the second part onto the first part because... Um, you know, whoever called, they'll call back, I'm sure. But if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to our channel. You never know what we're going to do. And um, share it if you'd like. We'd like you to join our family as well. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And if you want me to do anything, I'm open for any comments, things to do. So until the next time, bye.